Hello everyone, the warm-up channel is with you and today we will talk about the situation at the front and what changes have occurred over the past day. And let's us always start with the losses that the Russian army suffered over the past day. Russia lost 320 liquidated personnel, 6 tanks, 8 armor personnel vehicle, 5 artillery system, 1 MLRS, 1 aircraft, 16 UAV, 15 vehicles and full tanks, and 1 special equipment. Very good result for Ukrainian army. And let's talk about the latest news uh, on the front. There was information about very serious battles in the area of uh, the settlement of Nevsky here, and also to the west of uh, Kriminaya here in the Torsky. Russia still cannot come to terms with the loss of Liman and goes to such counterattacks and tries to recapture at least some settlements near Liman. But they simply suffer huge losses and they uh, all end unsuccessfully. Also from uh, Shepelivka here, there was an attempt uh, by Russian troops to enter the settlement of Bialogorivka. They also unsuccessfully lost, um, lost about 30 people. About um, the wounded um, information is being specif uh, specified. There is also information about the very fierce battles in the Bakhmut area. Here, the harder scene is now south of Bakhmut in the settlement of Ivangrad and Opetne. Here, according to some reports, some of these settlements have already been captured by Russian troops. Very fierce fighting continues, but the Ukrainian army continues to destroy enemy. According to some reports, uh, more than 3,000 Russian military wounded were destroyed in the Bakhmut area. Most likely much uh, more. Uh, therefore, Bakhmut turns into such a mass grave for Russian troops in other sectors of the front without changes. According to available information, a large part of population uh, left the city of Kherson. The Russian um, enemy who remained in the city changed into civilian clothes and moved um, uh, into the abandoned apartments. The enemy is prepared Kherson for street battles. As of October 21, the Russian uh, enemy are conducting measures to free the premises of the Kakhovka hospital from patients and medical personnel. In the city of Energodar, here, uh, Russian soldiers are looting abandoned apartments and hotels where they lived. Along with the search for weapons, the Russian military leadership does not stop trying to attract foreign mercen uh, mercenaries to the war in Ukraine. According to available information in one of the countries of the Middle East, the recruitment of militants continues. The level of dissatisfaction with the actions of the military leadership of the part of the civilian population of the Russian Federation is increasing. In particular, because of the mobilization that still continues in remote regions, despite the official announcement of its end, on October 20 of this year, the Defense Force uh, fired at a repair base of the occupiers and enemy equipment in the area of um, Novokakhovka, Kherson region. Aviation of the Ukraine um, carried out uh, 16 strikes during the past day. The defeat of three strongholds and 10 areas of concentration of weapons and military equipment, as well as repositions of the enemy's anti-aircraft missile systems were confirmed. In addition, our air defense units shot down an enemy Su-25 aircraft and one Orlan-10 UAV in various directions. Over the past day, soldiers of the missile forces and artillery hit two control points, 14 areas of concentration of manpower, weapons and military equipment, and ammunition warehouse. 
The Animus S-300 anti-aircraft missile complex, enemy artillery at firing position and 5 more important targets. Thank you all for your attention, if this video was useful for you, please like and subscribe to the channel, so you can support me. Thank you all and see you tomorrow.